Welcome, Chosen One. Hey guys, welcome to the Ace of Plays channel and to a probably more relaxed video. I'm recording way later than I usually do. It's like 7 p.m. right now. And I just got done recording the uh, Movember Tournament Final uh, versus Lord Bushwick. So if you want to know how that went, uh, just look out for that video. It should be out in a few days, probably, hopefully. It's going to take a lot, of, lot more work than usual. But yeah, so my, my voice is a little worn out. And it's, it's later in the evening. Like I'm a little bit, you know, just... Anyway, today I wanted to try out a uh, Cyana Vernon Roche combo deck. Uh, basically, what I did was I took the uh, Pincer Maneuver Engines deck that Team Aratusa listed as tier 3, and I added even more spice to it. So, I guess this is literally a tier 4 deck. Tier 4. That's, that's beneath anything you see in meta snapshots. But tier 4, that's where the real stuff begins. So the combo is simple, we want to get out Cyana. Uh, usually with Pincer Maneuver we can play our Defender and Cyana in the same turn. Next turn, Vernon Roche, double up on that. Pretty good value, and we have Hengate Sword. Whom... Who knows that he's gonna be Vernon Roche. And otherwise we just got the uh, traditional good Northern Realms cards, because we're gonna be pulling out a lot of our cards. So we want a lot of our cards to be good. You know? You're gonna be playing a lot of cards? Well, you gotta make sure you have a lot of good cards. That makes sense, right? We're all on the same page on that one. But yeah, we're just gonna jump into this. Uh, hopefully it works out. I've had a few games with this where things have gone very well, and it is very fun. And hopefully we'll get to do that again in today's video. So I hope you enjoyed. If you do, it helps me out a lot if you click a like. And if you want to see more stuff like this and you haven't already subscribed, I don't even have to tell you what to do. Let us just jump into some gameplay. Just you, just me, on this fine Thursday evening. It's it's going to be Friday morning for me when you see this. But uh, for me, it's Thursday evening. So uh, leave a comment down below for, uh, for future me. God, I am... It's going to be one of those videos. Let us go. Play some games. Gwent. Alright, so. Super shabby intro. An extremely boring loss to dwarves, and now we're playing against Syndicate. I gotta say. My hopes are high. You know, I. I'm really ready for this, you know? Mm, we're doing alright, we're doing alright. I mean, we can deal with Syndicate, right? The exact same way I said I could deal with Dwarves. This is nothing. Your wish, my duty. He's gonna play a card. I'm gonna play a card. We're gonna keep doing this back and forth for a little while. He's gonna play a lot better cards than I am, and then... In round three, he's gonna play a lot better cards than I am. But with the right amount of intellect, we can do this. I mean, can I just say this is a wild card syndicate, right? This is considered by multiple meta snapshots to be a tier one deck. On some meta reports, it's the only tier one deck. And this, like I said in the intro, is by definition a tier 4 deck. We have fun here on the channel. It's a pretty good counter. And honestly, it doesn't feel like that huge of an investment. I mean, all we gotta do is get through this round. And then do our thing. That's. I mean, he's playing King of Beggars. The King of Beggars skin. But he doesn't play what I believe to be Syndicate's most interesting ability, which is King of Beggars' ability. No. 
Oh. Enjoying yourself playing basically no unit until you feel like playing unit. Bye, Spellweaver. I barely knew you. I mean, I've known you for three turns, which is longer than I expected to. But I'm just looking at him, and I know. He's gonna get executed. My poor boy. Like, I'm a caring and loving father. I care about my boys, you know? I care about keeping them out of trouble. Now, you might say that by playing Gwent, and by willingly entering into these dangerous matchups with a tier 4 deck. You could say that I am deliberately placing my boys in this danger that I claim to be trying to keep them out of. And you would be correct. You would be entirely correct. But, uh... I mean, they're grand cards. What else am I going to do with them? <laughs> Why is it taking that long? To, to play an executioner and kill something. Oh. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. He's at maximum coinage. We might see a Philippa here, although he's not going to invest that that early, right? I can't imagine he would. I cannot imagine he would. But he did spend half an hour to play Morils on my bountied Sintron Spellweaver, so I mean, who knows what this boy can do? Yeah, he has powers beyond the physical. Maybe a blacksmith to boost it up? No, he did it. That lad actually did it. He even has a target. You crazy, crazy man. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. He's gonna get this. But with this and this, I can kill the next one and at least prevent him from doing this again. This is insane. Alright, I gotta say, he got me. He, uh... He positively has me wrecked. Um, safe from a dry pass? Nobody dry passes anymore. This is something I've experienced. I've been playing a lot of Gwent lately, and nobody dry passes anymore. Everybody pushes. Maybe it's only against me, because everybody knows that against me, it works. I guess they just know that I'm a dumbass. But you know what? That is cheating. Knowing your opponent is a dumbass is cheating. The sky will burn with the eternal I don't think he would do that if he weren't passing. We're in for a rough one, boys. Get ready. I got a unit right there. Take care of it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I think maybe you guys are about to see something beautiful. Because we actually made it to round three. It sucks that I have to say that, but it's it's legitimately a, a, a win for me. It's a victory for me to make it to round three. <laughs> Flip and go. He can use a wild card. He can purify and use a wild card to kill it. It wouldn't be the worst thing to have happened to me while playing this. No. No. Sorry, I got a bit carried away. What are the odds you won't do it? 
what are the odds you're not doing it right now and the animation just hasn't started yet for me? Huh? What are the odds? Very high, it seems. Well, let's go. Yes. 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 Um... All right. <laughs> Just got to play one more of those and we are good to go. It was always satisfying to see that stack of four cards on the side here just waiting to be played, yearning. I'll consider this my tip. Hmm. How many pings do I have? I was really hoping for more than that, but it makes sense. Uh, I can kill one. I mean, these against that is going to be brutal, so I'm actually, I'm going to do this. I have no interest in politics. And... Right. Maybe we want one more? I don't know. Oh, oh, okay, well, let's just do it, it's funny, it's, as they say, incredibly hilarious, okay, that's a card, that's a card, and you know what, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for my win now, sir. We're gonna lose, trust me, this is Syndicate. We're gonna lose. <gasps> he killed one of our dudes. How? How dare you? I'm gonna give him a charge so we can play this with zeal. And get the inspired and start working on this bitch. There you go. Can you even deal with all my stuff? This is nice. This is this is a nice activity. Like evening activity. Northern Realms is really fun occasionally. Like they, they have some like charge decks and also like inspired decks with and formation is such a fantastic keyword. It's just so much good stuff going on. I don't like this. Get off my whammon. Alright, so we got three charges coming in here. And now oh, that's five. Okay. That is the seductress dealt with. Point difference gets bigger and bigger and bigger every single turn. Now that is, dare I say, that's Northern Realms for you. Place your bleeds. Place your bleeds, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, what's next for your boy and crew? think the city is ravaged by robs well we want to kill this uh, and then we're gonna start applying a bunch of bleeds this is nothing it is absolute garbage it's gibbage it's total gibbage Compared to the havoc that I'm about to bring out for you, boy. Oh, Madame Louisa. You hurt my girls. I'll be pissed. That is not even a card compared to what I am about to play. Talk. 
Let us put some bleeds here and here, and uh, just because I hate her, we're gonna I'm gonna poke her a little bit. What a that's a Madam Louisa, one of the most dangerous cards in Gwent the Witcher card game. I'm gonna poke her with a stick. Oh wait, I got I got mouth pain. I'm gonna poke her with a mouth pain. We can apply some more bleeds. Of course. Uh, there's. Let's see, they're gonna bleed there, so there's, there's really no point in that, so we might as well. I'm gonna poke it with a stick. I'm gonna shoot it with an arbalest. Madam Louisa. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna guess his last card is Savola. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. I don't even remember him using this. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I could imagine that was what's going on anyway. Uh, Alright, give some uh, charges. Give some charges. Give some charges. Tier 1 deck, my ass. Tier 4 is where it's at. That's why all my content is Tier 4. That was fun. That was Tier 1 Syndicate. Uh, let's try to beat something else. Maybe something, <laughs> dare I say, actually fun. I don't know. I don't know. But we will, of course, jump into the second game. If you are anywhere near as parched as I am, grab your drinks before watching the second game. It's going to probably be very mediocre at best. But it's going to be a good time. Because we're together. Now, I said I wanted something more fun and interesting, and they were playing against monsters, which is the most fun and interesting faction by far. So I can't complain. I'm actually very happy. You don't want to have too many combo pieces, like... It just, it ruins our opening hand so much. I don't think we're gonna get these. That is pretty good against monsters, I got to say. Lyria. I totally agree. Somebody asked on Reddit yesterday, I saw why natural selection is considered a good card. Well, first of all, monsters, they didn't really have removal like this. But uh, four damage for four provisions is solid. But the fact of the matter is, if you kill a three strength, which a lot of the time is pretty good value you don't lose point value from it because you get a drone which is good in monsters so if you're one of those people wondering about that uh, that's my reasoning it's uh it's good because you rarely lose value from it that's kind of the trade-off for that card uh, this is pretty perfect This one's more important, so we're going to protect that. So far, so good. Uh, that is slow. Bleeding four now. That's pretty slow, my dude. The sky will burn with the eternal fire. I mean, bleeding is fine and all. But is it really what you want to be doing right now, my dude? Another bleeding form. I mean, he's monsters. Like, as soon as I pass, he's gonna play 16 point units with immune and 
death wish it don't die after all. So I kind of have to keep going for as long as I can. Which, you know, it's not... Sure. Glad. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> uh, uh, taking away the blades, it's fine. But I want to see him play that big unit so we can drop Vincent Mice and seal the kill. We got a pass. We, we win. Alright, 2 0, here we come. We want the order advantage real bad. Uh, in this matchup, it's not that important, but we still want it. Aren't those the cards that I mulliganed? They're not supposed to go on top, are they? Well, we have every card we need, so we're just gonna go for it. Give my boy Roche. There we go. By the way, guys, did you like today's thumbnail? I made the thumbnail before I even recorded the video, just because I knew I wanted to do this, and I had such a great idea for a thumbnail. Hope you liked it. I spent a lot of time working on it, and I am really happy. I'm, I'm learning more and more, and more, more and more about Photoshop as I, you know, can keep keeping on doing these videos, and uh, it's really cool to like have a vision for like a really cool thumbnail where you combine two cards. And actually be able to pull it off in a way that's satisfying. That that's a really cool feeling. So uh, if you guys are into creative stuff like that, I really recommend you uh, invest some time into it because it's really fulfilling. Do not kill Roche. I beg you. That that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, you can go back here. All in all, a very satisfying turn. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> That's not even a card, dude. That is not even a card. Let's see what we get, shall we? Okay. Uh, not, not not the best cards, but still kind of sounds fun. Okay, we should give these charges to Vincento. And start bleeding, I guess. Uh, bleeding this won't really matter. Uh, I think we're gonna save it. Uh, against monsters, I think we can afford some of that good old Northern Realm of Greed. Mm, I'm gonna purify my defender, that's that's pretty good. But that does do a lot for your cause. I have exactly the card I need to keep her inspired. Putting bleeds on a vampire dude, he's he's with you. Why would you do that? I mean, I can kill this, I can kill that. What can't I kill? Okay, I wanna, I wanna put that thing out of its misery. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, did I say six? I meant 13. That is right, that is right. Start taking these vampires off the board. I killed for less. Uh, my girl here's got to stay inspired, don't you know? We want to have some pings available. Uh, actually, we want to stay boosted because we're going to play him soon. We're going to play him soon. I'm really glad to see vampires being such a popular deck because I love it. It's such a good tribal deck in Brent. And it's so fun. It's like bleeding, put to a really good use, really flavorful with the vampires and the blood. All the vampires work well together. Necarat is a great engine. I love it. Uh, 
let's boost up some more people. One, two, three. No, of course, I said. Once you be exercised, I said. So we're doing pretty well. Ooh, that's that's a spicy metabola. We're gonna have to make short work of that, don't you don't you think? Alright, we need her to stay like this, and we need to keep things boosted up. Like this, and then we gotta put put this boy to one strength. This is gonna be a big Visigard. No. <laughs> but we got him. So yeah, long story short with this deck, when it works, like in the matches I showed you, it's almost unbeatable. But the thing is, it doesn't always work. Uh, you sacrifice some strength to be able to pull off uh, this combo safely. Uh, there are ways for your opponents to disrupt the defender and Cyan in the same turn. And if that happens, then you have wasted a lot of provisions on achieving nothing. And yeah. And as with all combo decks, like this deck has four combo pieces, ideally. And that's four cards that you don't want in your opening hand because you don't want to be restricted in round one, but at the same time, you have to draw them at some point, so you you know you're kinda scared when you don't get them. You're kinda scared of mulliganing them, you know, you kinda you know, it's it's I mean it's it's a combo deck, it's it's you know, like I said many times, by definition a tier four deck. But it's a lot of fun. It's like Roche Hengate is one of my favorite combos. Just add Cyan on top of that. I tried going full meme and have Blue Dream as well. Uh, but that just fuels the problems with the deck so much more than it fuels the benefits. Because then you're really sacrificing provisions, and you have an extra combo piece, uh, and yeah, it's just... It makes all the problems worse, and it doesn't make the benefit that much better. But if you want to be, be a full memester, if you want to go down to tier 5, you know, higher numbers does mean better, right? I hope so. Otherwise, I've been doing this thing all wrong. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the deck, guys. It's it's really fun and it's it's decently powerful. It's like I I net decked the Team Aratusa list. It was tier three, but I it's still on the tier list, and I just made a couple of tweaks to allow for a little bit more memeage. So it's it's a solid deck, uh, you know, but. It has a little bit of Ace of Play Spice on it. And I know you guys can appreciate some spice. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you could hear me. My voice has felt weak. Broken. But I think it was fine. I think maybe it's been very soothing. A very soothing experience for you guys. And I did do a very bad Steve Irwin impression, which does warrant a like and subscribe don't you think anyway why you know I, sh I should not be rambling when i'm tired and it's light that just that's not a good combo unlike cyana and vernon roche and hengate sword have a good one guys and i'll see you next week bye